Hello everyone and welcome to another video about Safflex. Today we're going to be discussing the mechanics of authentication or of the logging in life cycle, let's call it like that, of Safflexer. Basically when you log in the first time, Safflexer creates a cookie, it's stored there and the next time you don't have to be presented with the login screen. But because the Safflexer application is a scope service, uh, the first time that you have the, the login screen, you put your creation and after the logging in, it creates another SAF application and that's the one who actually uh, you can use. Now, that means that if we put a breakpoint on the own logger on, it happened twice. And we have this scenario, for example, when we did the first uh, example of the multi-tenant that we were trying to uh, have the database name and every time that it, and we put it in the application level, but after the logging in, we lost that value because the application again was another one, was recreated. Uh, we have uh, students who want to uh, audit the login. We have a client who wants to, when they logging in, save the or ask them for the latitude and longitude. So we have a lot of uh, scenarios for this. Maybe when you are uh, logging in, you're going to go to a database and read some type of configuration that you need. So basically, if you log in, you will see that it, it hits the breakpoint the first time if you click continue it hit that again so sometimes that's not a big deal if you can do the processing twice and it's not that big you can put it right there but what if you are doing something that is intensive and you just want to do it once or why to do it twice why not make sure that you're doing just once when they're logging in so for that and let's click continue now if you see log it in i will put this here so for that we can create it controller that basically will give us a solution for this meaning we're going to take the controller and i'm going to create it for the detail view of the authentication standard login parameters that's the one that's the detail view that we're seeing in the login screen and of course we're going to hook in there the login in the logger on so whatever we want to do it even before the login and after the login and if we put a breakpoint here and one thing that is important is this uh, the control is for the log on form and the actions when you want to maybe put a, an extra action in that log on but it's important that you need to activate it but default the normal controllers are not going to get activated for that screen for security reasons so basically you are going to go to your module add the create custom log on windows controller and then you're going to add the controller your own controller that you just created we use that and if you see on the activator we're binding the, the events if we now run the application you will see that it will trigger just one and that will be it for this video we just wanted to present this uh, solution because i think that uh, for some people it will be useful to know that we don't have to repeat that processing or maybe Maybe we're calling an API and we should avoid extra calling them. You see, just one, continue. And we're good to go. Okay, that's it for this video. See you in the next one.